Google Analytics 4. I want to show you how you can track Google Analytics 4 using Pixel Your Site. This will be a short video just about this part, how you can start tracking Google Analytics 4. I plan to do a larger video about how you can visualize all the data that we track and send to Google because there is plenty of data that we track. Uh, Google Analytics 4 is much more uh, flexible compared to older versions, uh, Google Analytics Universal. So there are two scenarios here. One, you already have a universal property installed on your website using Pixel Your Site, or you want to create a new Google Analytics 4 property. So let's just see what you need to do. Okay, this is a universal property and I will upgrade it to a Google Analytics 4. So I need to create a new Google Analytics 4 property or there is the, this option to connect to an existing GA4 if you have one. I will assume that you don't have, so I will create a new one. Hmm. Okay. This is it, it was very easy. Um, as you can see, this property is uh, connected to my old Google Analytics um, Universal. Now, on your website, you need to open Pixel your site and look for this option right here, enable Google Analytics 4. Uh, if you don't have it, update your plugin, enable and save. Once you do so, we will start to send the data in the new format because um, the new format, it's a bit different. Events have um, event name and uh, a number of parameters. You can, have, you can send the custom parameters. With the old format, uh, it was just um, a few parameters, standard parameters like um, category, action, label, and value. Now we can send much more, more data. Um, E-commerce is tracked and it's sent. You will see it uh, right here in this part, monetization. One thing you must remember, Google Analytics 4 has a huge delay, like uh, 24 hours right now. So once you uh, configure everything, you will start to see data the next day, most likely. Maybe in a few hours, but usually it's the next day. So expect a very, very large delay. Um, this, is, this is all you need to do in order to send Google Analytics 4 data. Um, in, the different, in a different video, I will show you how you can uh, visualize events, what you need to configure to see all the data that we track and, uh, and stuff like that. But for now, that's all you need to do in order to enable Google Analytics 4 property. Very important. Once you do so, the old uh, universal property will still get data, but reading it, it will be a bit more confusing because, as I said, events have a different structure. E-commerce reports will work in the old property, but events reporting will be... Mm, not very not very good so uh, you might also want to create a new property that's again very very easy you can go here create property and uh, give it a name next select this Select web, add your website, name, um, you have this option here to track automatically various actions and create stream. 
copy this code right here, measurement ID, go inside Google, uh, sorry, pixel your site, and you can add the ID right here or add a new ID if you need to. So basically this is how you create and install a new GA4 property using pixel your site. If you already uh, have the code from a universal property, you can keep it and uh, transform that property into uh, upgraded property to a GA4 property. So that's all you, you need to know in order to start using Google Analytics 4 and pixel your site.